Yes, Scotty's going to tell us about how he was uh, already 35 years of age and a veteran then. But in fact, uh, Richmond played Geelong in the grand final. And at three-quarter time, the Tigers were leading by two points. Some interesting names uh, bobbing up here. Uh, Bull Richardson playing for the Tigers. His son came around this year and uh, played for the Tigers. Uh, and there's a bloke named John Ronaldson who his kicked son. a couple of freaks and his son's playing basketball, basketball for the Magic. Basketball for Magic too, so isn't that interesting? Who else have we got there? Paddy Ganane, well the big centre-half forward. He was the first of the really big centre-half forwards. He set a bit of a trend. Uh, I bet Doug Wade, he was a great player, wasn't he? Well, Doug Wade, we see John Sharrick. John Sharrick was one of those really gifted left-foot half-forward flankers. Billy Goggin, well that was nearly the end of, for Billy. And also Gareth Andrews kicked a goal, I see his name there. He, went on and was general manager of Richmond. And look at the crowd, 109,396, an enormous crowd. And let's hope we fill the stadium again today. And a bloke that we're going to miss in this replay is, uh, g'day, Neville Crow. He missed the game because he got rubbed out and people said when he had a swish at John Nichols, he missed him by a mile. Well, I suppose that's the advantage of not... Well, that's unfortunate because you used to get away with murder in those days <laughs> because they didn't have to. And you yeah. took full advantage of Well, right? yes, I wouldn't have played as many games as I did. But, yes, had they, had they really uh, covered that like they do now, he would have got off. So it's unfortunate. He played all those years, started back in the 50s and uh, was captain of the side. He wasn't captain... No, he wasn't captain then. Uh, but, yeah, unfortunate to miss out. OK, so let's go to the final quarter of the 1967 Grand Final. Umpire Peter Shields bounces the ball starting the final quarter of the 67 Grand Final. Geelong versus Richmond. Two points of difference as they go into the final stanza in favour of the Tigers. There's the kick now from Dick Clay up forward. The ball bounces. Ganane is there. He's tackled by West. Paddy Ganane shoots right across the face of goals. Out of bounds in the forward pocket on that other side. Oh, in this final quarter, Richmond are kicking to the new stand end and Geelong to the Richmond end. There's the scoreboard. Ronaldson, number two, goes in there with Andrews, number six in Geelong to the ground. It comes taken by Bartlett. He snaps. He's put it through. Beautiful goal. That was Bartlett. Was yes, it was. Yes. Like there it is. Two points in front now, eight points in front. That's oh, a that good goal, football. Butch. That's about the second goal. If Geelong can retain their fitness in this quarter, they'll push them. 40 seconds into the final quarter. 40 seconds, that goal came up. And Barrett in there, suling his team on. Number 24, an outstanding performer in that third quarter. Here's the bounce. Patterson back on the ball, but he's beaten for the hit out. Bounces over the top here, picked up nicely. Hand pass to Goggin. Goggin gives it into Andrews. He's pushed and shoved, and he streaks away. Coming through there very nicely as Sherrick. Sherrick hooks the ball. Oh, tremendous effort, but it's over the line for one point. Gee, that was a good try by Sherrick. Yes, a great effort, particularly when he was on his left foot. I thought the boy coming out with him, Andrews, allowed Sherrick to take the ball because he was on his left foot. Swift about to kick in 13, 15 to 13, 8. And it's a oh. nice kick too, right out to Bull Richardson. He's always oh, stood on by Polinelli. Polinelli overruns, it's kicked off the ground by Burke, in towards centre half back, they all overrun it, there's a chance for Royce Hart, he hand passes but it's taken away from them by Dennis Marshall, going the wrong way, he turns on the right foot, kicks out towards the half forward flank, racing for it is Ainsworth, but the ball is a throw in on the half forward flank for Richmond. <coughs> for the benefit of our interstate viewers and our viewers in New Guinea, Dennis Marshall has been under a cloud all week with a crook leg, but he's certainly playing well here today. Nothing wrong with the leg now. Farmer has possession. Farmer swings around a long hand pass uh, here. Sends it to Newland. Newland tries a hand pass across here to Polinelli. Polinelli steadies. Down to the half forward flank on the other side. The players race for it. Fields has it. He's taken to the ground by Dean of Richmond. He's played the ball. Oh. oh Free kick to Roger Dean. Dean in a bit of trouble. A hand pass across here to Strang. Strang in trouble. Oh. I'd say that was around the neck. <laughs> You're kidding. Strang now on the half-back flank on the outer side of the ground, kicking towards what we felt early was the scoring end, but there's very little in it. Strang's good kick goes in towards the centre wing position, backing back Polinelli. He races off. Goes right through that half-forward line of pass here, but it's marked by Clay. And this fella's a steady player. Not outstanding today, but kicks the ball a long way. He's in the centre of the ground lead but no he's decided to go for the long one it's not so long he's hooked it Goggin has the ball punched away from him by Bartlett chance for Burke Bartlett grabbed gotta get the free kick play on oh. to Shields Goggin 
goes through the centre wing, has a chance, Ryan moving for it, and nicely Freddie Swift comes through, he gets the ball, hand passes, oh it's a glorious hand pass to Dean, Dean short passes but it's out of bounds. What about the pace on Swift, he went right away from them then. Very cool in the crisis. Out of bounds on the half forward flank, or between the wing and half forward flank, over there on the other side. So Obvious against, free kick. Against Farmer. Against the big cat, not too happy with himself. It's going to uh, Patterson over there. Patterson on the half back flank on that outer side. Takes his kick off to four, one into the man on the mark. The man on the mark takes the run. Who is that? It looks like Sherrick. Sherrick, a uh, long one down, man on mark in defence to Tony Jewell. Jill now comes along the member's back. Clay sets himself up over his head and Foster marks. Confusion now amongst oh, the Richmond yes. boys. Foster is on the half forward flanker into Woods in a half forward. Takes his kick. This one's going to the goal square. Wade's in there. Up they all go. They all knock it away, the Richmond defenders. Taken by Dean. Dean out to the half back flank on the other side. It beats everybody. The ball bounces. Burke comes in for Richmond. Burke's going for a run. There's nobody near him. Yes, he'll get another. No, he won't. He gets his kick. He's bowled over. A free kick up the field. Bad luck there. See the cunningness. They throw it back, but the ball has got to come up to the half forward line. The free kick to be taken there by Royce Hart. Hart now, a glorious left foot kick. Puts his boot into it. It's right in towards the end of the square, but it's all Geelong. Mitchell. And it's Mitchell. Chris Mitchell to mark in front of the pack. The ball dropped just a fraction short there for Paddy Ganine, and Mitchell made no mistake. I tell you what, these people up in New Guinea are going to love every minute of this, Butch. Glorious football, in wonderful conditions too. All oh. over Polinelli, should have been free kick there. Patterson hand passes. It's over to Burke. Burke tackled by Farmer. Got to get it for a free kick in the back. Francis Burke, now he's on the half forward flank. Couldn't get the distance. Look, the big cat was trying a little bit of leapfrog then. Well, there's nothing much else he could do. There's Ganine. No, he's not going to lead. Waiting for the long kick. Oh, it's a grubber, though. And it's only in towards that half-forward flank. Barry Richardson tackled uh, by Newland. Newland uh, was over the line as he kicked. And a throw-in results in the half-forward flank for Richmond. There's only seven points of difference and in this game. six minutes of the final quarter gone. We wait for the throw-in. It's on the half-forward flank for the Tigers on that outer side. They're kicking to the new stand in. <coughs> Patterson number 25, Farmer 5, up they go. Patterson uh, edges Farmer out, but it's Mitchell who gets a tap down. Taken by Barry Richardson. Richardson up towards the pocket, coming out to meet it. Here's uh, the Roy fullback West. for oh. Geelong, Roy West. Ganane's got to come out more, Ted. That's right, he must play in front. He's big enough to do this. West takes his kick to the half-back flank on the outer side, taken here by Newland. Newland puts his boot in it, drives down towards centre half forward. The player set themselves. Sherrick's in there, couldn't hold it. In comes Ryan number 26. Eels is there though. Eels swings around. He tries a high one. They're racing for it. Wade and Swift knocked away here over the boundary line on the half forward flank for Geelong on that outer side. You know They're kicking down to the Richmond end. Now Freddie Swift is punching that ball now, Mike. Not attempting to mark, but punching it and keeping it away from the danger man, Wade. Here's the throw in. Patterson, 25, gets a nice hit down to Rich Bull Richardson. He goes through that half-back line. A good punt kick in towards the half-forward line. Barry Richardson flies. Is it a mark? No. It's going to be a throw in. Oh, the boundary up for A mile behind. I think he anticipated the mark then. And the Richmond runner out in the ground again. There's a throw in about to take place. It's on the centre wing. Slightly Richmond's uh, way. In they go. Mitchell pushed aside, but Farmer and Mitchell go for it. Barry Richardson kicked off the ground by Mitchell. Over here very nicely to Goggin. Goggin hand passes beautifully to Polinelli. Polinelli runs through the centre. It's a long raking drop kick, and there's all. Nearly a chance for Jewell. Through comes Freddie Swift. It's over here. Tony Jewell comes back. Good play. Very good play. It gets the ball out of bounds. And look at the crowd fly. A oh, tremendous crowd here. You've no idea. Jam-packed in the member stand here. You can't walk along the uh, uh, passageways because people are sitting everywhere. <laughs> what a glorious opportunity Geelong nearly had there. The throw in now. Mitchell number eight goes in there with Patterson. They grab each other. Patterson gets the tap down. Ryan tries to shark it away. He's grabbed pretty high, Mark you. Down to the ground he goes, but the ball is on the wing position on the outer side. Polinelli is doing a great job over there, Marks. Polinelli swings around, kicks in towards centre half forward. He finds Farmer. Farmer's built it. Oh, you wouldn't see that in a million years. 
taken by Clay. Clay with a half foot, Clay on the other side. Barry Richardson of Richmond with it. He swings around, he's in trouble. He gets his kick, however. Down it goes. They set themselves up, they go. Down to the ground it comes. Here's a great battle going on. Players going over like nine pins. There's a chance for Roy West. In comes Marshall. Marshall swings around close to the boundary line. And he's put it clean over the boundary line on Richmond's half forward flank on that outer side. And seven points still in front, Richmond. How's the time going, Mike? Eight and a half minutes of the final quarter gone. The throw and takes place. Ronaldson goes up there, number two for Richmond. Taps down. Bartlett has it. Bartlett to Brown. Brown has held. He'll get a free. Play for it beautifully. Well done, Trent. Brown now, who has already kicked three goals. There's 45 to 50 yards out directly in front. This could be his fourth coming up. He's kicking to the new stand end. It's on its way. It's dropping a bit short off the hands of the pack. Through for one behind. Good play there by West. Came oh. in the last man and made sure that it wouldn't go through. 13 16 to 13. Eight, eight points in front, Richmond. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a draw. I wouldn't be surprised if we're back here next week. Oh, my. Roy West now. Good long kick. In towards the centre. Roy's heart pushed oh. aside. Walker gets away with it now. Races through the centre. Goes for the long one. There's a chance for Bill Ryan. He marks. Well called, Butch. All the way, Teddy. That was a beautiful kick. He had his name on it all the way. I would say Geelong have had six opportunities in the last ten minutes, or eight minutes, to score. But this is the only true one. Line 30 yards out, directly in front. Puts it on its way. I think it's offline. It's swinging around. It's there. Two points the difference. A nice mark. Look at that ticking, Teddy Geelong. 14, 8. 29 to 22 shots. Well, Smart is back. Sorry about that. Facing death at every turn. And loving it. Ready to save the world. I'm on my other shoe. With Jaime the Robots. And if we just put our heads together. Agent 13, the Cone of Silence, and good old 99. Did you get a look at his face? Well, if that was his face, he has a huge cleft in his chin. Don't miss our special grand final day comedy. Good night. Get Smart again, 6.30 tonight on 7. This disturbing film was taken beneath our shrine of remembrance. Time and water damage have taken their toll. For 60 years, the shrine has paid tribute to the thousands of Victorians who died in defence of our country. Now, the Shrine of Remembrance Restoration Appeal needs our support. Give now, if you would, lest we forget. Excuse me, miss. There seems to be a mistake. I believe I ordered the large cappuccino. Charlie McKenzie had a good family. Heat! Move! Look at the size of that boy's heat. Shh. Gotta get the boy a complex. Well, that's a huge noggin. Good friends. I broke up with those girls for very good reasons. Oh, really? Yes. What about Pam? She smelled like soup. Two words. Therapy. And a big problem. Well, you know I'm terrified of marriage. I know that, son. I know that. Then one day, he met... Harriet. <laughs> She's everything he's ever wanted. What do you look for in a woman you date? I know everyone always says sense of humor, but I'd really have to go <laughs> with breast size. Desired. Yeah, there you go, scratching. And hoped for. <laughs> You know Harriet. Well, actually, I don't. But you did have sex with her. Hello. Now, he's ready to spend the rest of his life with her. The trouble is, it could be a short one. 
honeymoon murderer. She marries men under fake identities, and then she murders them. No. Charlie, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Rose had a picture. It checked out. TriStar Pictures presents a love story that gives new meaning to the word committed. Mike Myers, Nancy Travis, Anthony LaPaglia, and... Let's get past! Mike Myers, So I Married an Axe Murderer. Here I am getting all bent out of shape just because she's a killer. Directed by Thomas Schlamme. Absolutely gone. They're gone. 
It's only courage, sheer guts and determination to keep these fellas on their feet. It's almost 15 minutes into the final quarter. West to kick out now from the new stand in. He's favouring the outer flank by the look of it. Oh, good kick too. The players set themselves up. They go, no mark. Over by Farmer. Farmer long hand pass out here. He's looking for Polinelli. Polinelli has it. Polinelli kicks down to the half forward flank. On the other side, Sherrick. Sherrick steadies. He kicks. by Farmer Colinelli. To my way, I think that Colinelli is the best player on the ground. The ball about to be bounced from the centre. Here they go. Mitchell gets a nice hit. Harry Richardson takes it. Each scrum fumbles. All oh, Farmer struggling there with Barrett. And look at that. And the ball kicks high. Colinelli fumbles. Hand passes to Barton. Across the place of goal and out of bounds. Tremendous strain these oh. fellas are under. Who's the going to be the first team to crack? That's the decision. In goes Ronaldson, pushed away by Mitchell. Northey's in there. Mitchell takes it. Oh, good, good play. play. And over towards Kloster. Kloster now. Gee, they're holding them at the moment. Geelong. Kloster kicks in. Marshall's there with Barrett. Barrett punches the ball away. Who's the first team to crack Butch? That's the only way to describe it. this yeah. last quarter. 16 and a half touch. minutes gone. There they go. Patterson takes it. He runs in the goggin. He tries a hand pass. Taken here by Marshall. Marshall now down towards centre half forward. They fly. Oh! String. I thought he was going to fumble it, but he comes out with it. String now over centre half forward for Richmond. Out towards the pocket, actually. The ball bounces. Taken by West. West hence for the boundary. That's yes. right. Throw in. Gee, I was glad he didn't play oh, that kick he out. Couldn't. He couldn't. Not really. But I've seen them do it in these games, Ted. Farmer suffered with cramp in the third quarter. He's giving everything, Farmer. Mitchell now, Farmer from behind. There it goes. A chance here for uh, Costa. Costa racing in. Picks up. Costa now tries a short one in. It won't come up. A good mark there to String of Richmond. String at centre half back. Oh, golly, that was a good mark. Up comes Strang now. He takes his kick up towards centre half forward. They set themselves up. They go. The ball bounces. Oh, here's a chance for Barry Richardson. It's a short one over to Ronaldson. Oh, a good mark. At full stretch, he was able to pull that one in. Ronaldson, oh, he's a long way out. You couldn't see him kicking it. There's Paddy Ganane there. There's the kick. I'll tell you what, this is a ripper. Oh! With Telecom's new 0011 super off-peak rates, you can call eight countries midnight to 7 a.m. weekdays and automatically save half off the peak rate. Like half-peak rate to Britain. <laughs> like half-peak rate to America. Half-peak rate to New Zealand, aye. Half-peak rate to Japan. Italy. Hong Kong. To Ireland. Singapore. Telecom's 0011 super off-peak. Half off the peak rate, midnight to 7 a.m. weekdays. This is Australia calling. Play Monopoly at McDonald's. Get your game card, scratch three game pieces and match the property group to win a Continental Holidays family trip to Disneyland. Flying Continental Airlines. Or you could win instantly. Welcome to the Inside Edition that gives hard copy on real life in less than 60 minutes. Ask yourself, what's in a name? You know this store is Clark Rubber, but explain this. Well, yes, we have a great deal on vinyl flooring, just 1995. Clark Flooring. Or this sofa bed, another great deal, just $499. Clark Sofa Beds. Or this park bench, $69. And this patio setting, $129. Clark Cast Iron. Or this molded setting's a great deal, it's $79. 
Clark Molded. And how about this kid's gym set for $149? So, what's in a name? Obviously, if it's Clark Rubber... There's a great deal more. G'day, folks. I'd like to tell you about the new Nissan Fishing Show. There's everything for fishing, and it's much bigger than last year. There's plenty of fishing gear for sale, demonstrations, and experts to tell you all about fishing. And some lucky person's going to win this boat package from JV Marine. Magnificent. The new Nissan Fishing Show is on for just three days, starting this Friday at the Exhibition Building. Now, I'll be there for the entire show. Don't miss it. See you there. Which is that market with all those great bargains? Croydon Market. The one with the terrific bric-a-brac auction? Croydon Market. And the fabulous fruit and veggie auction? Croydon Market, yes. With all those wonderful fabric and craft buyers? Croydon Market. It's the one with the amazing shopping centre alongside... Croydon Market! You know the happy market? That's Croydon Market. <laughs> oh, and where is Croydon Market? Croydon. There's nothing more Australian than blowflies at a barbie, except the all-new Aussie Post. Covers all the things important to a bloke, including crime and girls. And this week, they've got the double, a cover girl who killed her old man. And sports, why top footy stars dream of death. Plus, this huge, free, double-sided footy poster. Razzed off reading about another rocky royal romance? Yeah. Learn a lot about Australia in the all-new Aussie Post. Out now. David Carradine's a crime lord who deals in deadly weapons. Hey! Chad McQueen's a cop who is a deadly weapon. The winner? The man that still has a pulse. See the son of Hollywood legend Steve McQueen in his screen-busting debut. It's showtime, Mikey. A one-man crime force who's twice as lethal unarmed. Drop your weapon. What are you going to do now without your gun, tough guy? Nissan presents Chad McQueen. I'm going to have a partner. I want it to be her. In the action premiere, Martial Law. 8.30 Monday on Channel 7. to play. They generally run 30 minutes each quarter, quarters, and the ball about to be thrown in. Richmond badly need the goal. Ronaldson with Mitchell and Farmer. 
Palmer moves in, Mitchell hits out. It's down onto the ground. A mad scramble of players here. And umpire Shields will bounce it. A good decision too. I bet he was hoping he wouldn't have to give a free there. A bounce of the ball, only about 15 yards out from the Tiger goal. There it goes, Bartlett. Oh, he's taken to the ground. Ball. Well, you can argue about that one. There's the ball. Over the boundary line on Richmond's half forward. Franklin looks like a free kick. Free kick against play. It's going to Cluster. Great Cluster of Geelong. Cluster now kicks to the wing position on the member stand side. They set themselves. It's over the line and we'll take a throw in. Oh, this is tight. Magnificent. No one's on the ball for Geelong. Marshall. Oh, Patterson taken to the ground. He'll get the free. Patterson plays on immediately. Kicks in towards centre half forward. Goggin is there and Goggin marks. They've got tired, those fellows out there. Goggin now. The old Wiley veteran kicks to the wing position. Mine couldn't hold it. Comes down here towards Andrew. Andrew picked up. He drives in towards the centre half forward. Posse, they fly. Knocked away here by Roger Dean. In comes Strang. Strang well shepherded. Picks up. Kicks down towards centre half forward. Up they go. Yes! Boys hard. Oh, he's got a player. What a strong mark. Royce Hart is a little wide of centre half forward. Actually, he runs in towards centre half forward. Drives downstream. Up they go. Twenty-two and a half minutes gone, and Pat Ganane. Ganane is about forty yards out, directly in front. Big Pat. Up he comes. All eyes on him. He kicks. Shots to 27 in Richmond's favour. Roy West now about to kick in. And it's tremendous atmosphere here at the MCG. Roy West kicking in towards the centre. Roy Sarr! Electrifying here, Mike, in these last few minutes of the game. Tremendous marking we've seen by both players on both sides. Oh, into the man on the mark. Down they go. A chance for Morley. He couldn't break clear. They throw themselves on top of the ball. Ball up. Yeah, good decision. Ball up. Ainsworth couldn't get clear. About 30 yards out of from the Tiger goal. The ball bounced. There they go, Farmer and uh, Ronaldson. Farmer of uh, Geelong overruns it. A kick off the ground, sends it wide here. Here's a go for Dick Clay. Dick Clay runs into trouble. He gets out of trouble. He's tackled by Goggin. He kicks it high. The ball hits the ground, taken by Royce Hart. He's unloaded by Newland. Newland follows up now, picks it up, and he's grabbed by Paddy Ganane. And the result of that... Throw in, a throw in. And it's right in the forward pocket here for Richmond. They've only got the score. Anything at all will do. A goal or a point. In goes Farmer. Interferes. It's and it's Ronaldson's free kick and an obvious one. And the decision is correct. That's quite right, but <laughs> Oh, boys, let us not enter into arguments at this stage of it. Ronaldson, he kicked a magnificent one before. I won't predict what he'll do here. But he is 55 yards out. Kicking from the outer side there. He's already kicked to this fellow. Up he comes, he's concentrating. He kicks. It'll get the distance, I think. poster from Monday at Mitre 10.
Yes, you can. Only at Mitre 10. He's been involved in an accident last night. And I'm sorry oh, that no, he no, died. Down, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that, please. Don't tell Listen, me that. Ladies, I'm sorry. I'm really seat. sorry. Come, Come and sit down on oh, the couch. No. Let's go and sit down. Mummy, oh. what's wrong? If it only saves you once a year, it's a good year. TV Hi-Fi is smashing prices this Sunday. All CDs are an extra 20% off their normal crazy prices. That means CDs from just 80 cents each. Stock up now for Christmas. It's one day only this Sunday at JB Hi-Fi. JB, you've done it again. G'day, folks. I'd like to tell you about the new Nissan Fishing Show. There's everything for fishing, and it's much bigger than last year. There's plenty of fishing gear for sale, demonstrations and experts to tell you all about fishing. And some lucky person's going to win this boat package from JV Marine. Magnificent. The new Nissan Fishing Show is on for just three days, starting this Friday at the Exhibition Building. Now, I'll be there for the entire show. Don't miss it. See you there. Pick apart, pick apart, pick apart, pick apart. Don't leave that car just sitting in a heap. Come to Pick Apart, where everything's cheap. Second-hand parts for second-hand cars, from a door to a wheel or a bumper bar. Now at Pick Apart, there's nothing on the shelf, because you bring your tools and do it all yourself. Check out the cars for the part that's right. You're sure to find it. There's hundreds on site. Then you strip the car for the parts you need. Pick apart, pick apart, but do pick it carefully, because there's no warranty. Fossil Road Kill Site, seven days a week. Entries free and everything's cheap. Before Captain Cook could set sail to discover Australia, he had to know what kind of day it would be. Before Sir Edmund Hillary could set out to conquer Mount Everest, he had to know what kind of day it would be. And for those times when you need to know what kind of day it will be. Hi, David Brown here with Melbourne's official weather report. Turn to the person who has made weather his life, David Brown. In a city where weather means everything, get the accurate forecast. Monday on 7 Nightly News. Where the weather will always be better. his kick with the Tigers. One goal up. He takes his kick. It's a good one too. It's well down towards the pocket. The players sit themselves and the ball comes to the ground. In comes Goggin. Goggin in a bit of trouble. He's waving his turn. He throws a hand pass to Eels. Oh, look at Eels go. Eels is still going. He gets his kick further down. Free kick up the field. It's a free kick up the field. Quite right. Oh, these players are exhausted. Who's going to Look take it? Graham. Ricky Graham. Ricky Graham, who came on as 19th man, is 35 yards out on a slight angle. You can see directly in front. Up he comes. Can he make himself the hero? He kicks. It's swinging off. One point. Oh, how would that kid feel, Teddy? Oh, it's a lot of pressure for him, oh, but tremendous pressure. 26 and a half minutes gone. Swift tries the short one out here. Will it come off? Yes, it does. Patterson is marked on the halfback flank on the other side. Mike Patterson, Richmond now. They're going to stall, it looks like. Play out for time. They could get left if they do. There's the kick out there. Knocked away here. Down to the ground it comes. Burke overruns it. John Perry dives on top of it, gets it across to Royce Hart. Royce Hart over to Barry Richardson, back to Royce Hart, Hart in trouble, back to Richardson. Richardson fumbles. Oh, they're as tired as anything, but a big kick sends it down forward. Gillane couldn't hold it. Morley, oh, look at him go. Morley. Oh, oh, boy. Could have got the free kick for Ben Hell. Quite easily. 
He's put it over the boundary line in the forward pocket on the other side, but how cleverly he knocked that ball on in front of him. I'll have a heart attack in a minute. There they go, Ronaldson and Mitchell. Neither gets a clear tap down. Ainsworth tries to kick off the ground. In they come, Bartlett's here. He backs out of the pack. He steadies. Put it through. Seven and a half minutes gone. They actually pushed Bartlett into that. That's right. right. <laughs> Just on 28 now. What excitement. Can Richmond win their first for about 24 years? The bounce of the ball. The players set themselves. Up they go. Knocked away by Patterson. In comes Barrett. He's tackled by Graham. Barrett's pushing the ball on in front of him. He's still going out there. He's on the halfback flank now on the other side. He swings around. He kicks it back into the centre. Farmer's there and he marks. He plays on immediately. Over to Cluster. Cluster now. Drives down over centre half forward. Wade comes out. Couldn't hold the mark. It's all Richmond down there. Tony Jewell, a long hand pass. Here's a lady. Neils has it. Hill swings it across, in comes Swift. Swift runs across the face of goals. He gets his kick out to the flank there on the other side. John Perry has it. John Perry sinks his boot into it, drives it up towards Barrett. Barrett is waiting there on the wing position on the other side. And look at him go. Barrett drives it in towards centre half forward. And Barry Richardson has marked. The score. The score, five points in front, Richmond. Scarlett's on for Geelong and Andrew's off. There's 114, 103, he was nice and slow with that shot. 11 points. 11 points, I'm sorry, there's the kick. Into Woods, a forward pocket. In they 29 and a half. We wait for the throwing. There it goes. Patterson in front. Mitchell from behind gets a tap down. In comes Marshall for Geelong. Marshall a hand pass to Goggin. Oh, Goggin loses the possession. He regains it. A hand pass across here towards Graham. Graham throws a hand pass to Marshall. Marshall a long run down. This could be Geelong. They fly. Yes. Leon is the call. Oh, goodness me. Taken by Ryan. He snaps. Oh, the mark for mine. One point. Ten points in front now, Richmond. And time dwindling away. It's right on siren time. Oh, they deserve this, really. Oh, either side deserves it. But what a glorious game it's been. 30 minutes gone, almost 30 and a half. Swift now kicks out to the outer flank once again. And this move came off before. And he repeats it. Patterson takes the mark. Slowing the play down a bit. Geelong player down there. It could be Sherrick. The kick now from Patterson. It's a poor one. A chance for John Perry. He comes in. Perry swings around now. Kicks into the centre. And Marshall is back. Geelong fighting this out every inch of the way. What a gallant effort from both teams. Dennis Marshall now. He kicks down forward. And the, oh, Mike Perry spilt it. It's picked up by Goggin. He's unloaded. A kick off the ground by Dean. In comes Goggin once again. Goggin swings around. He kicks. Swift marks in the last line of defence. Swift plays on. Right on the line he marked that. Out to the flank on the outer side. Here's a go for Polinelli. Polinelli picks up. He tries a long one. Tigers by nine points. Ronaldson kicked three, Hart and Bartlett each kicked three, and for Geelong, Wade and Sharrock kicked four each, and Goggin kicked three. Polly Farmer's last game, what about that mark by Royce Hart? Yes, it wasn't bad. Well, that's one of the all-time greats, that mark.
But incidentally, there were seven of those Richmond guys, I remember all this because this is my first year of football, uh, seven of those guys went on and coached AFL teams, or VFL teams as it was in those days. Yeah, it was, good. It was interesting to see Polly Farmer. The, many people at uh, Geelong believe he is still the best handballer in the game, but when you have a real look at the way the mm. skills have developed, isn't it amazing the difference? And you can only see it on the videotape. The difference between the skills of, to, of today's players and comparing them with the, the greats of the past. Well, and there is a major no, difference. Well, there's it? just no, really, I, I think it's unfair comparing mm. because the players nowadays are just so much better. You know, uh, so much better than they were in the past. But that's the era. You can't compare. Well, he was ahead eras. of his time, I guess. Well, that's it? right. You can't compare era to no. era. I think it's unfair. And you alluded to the fact that all the coaches that Tommy Hafey produced, uh, you're another player who played under Tom? Are you going to be one of uh, another long line of coaches that he's going to produce? Well, I'm struggling to keep my hair at the moment, Drew, so <laughs> if I can keep out of coaching, I'll keep it for a little bit longer. Well, I'm not having a coach. I haven't had a coach, and I'm not, I haven't got any to hold on to. You coached a long and illustrious career, wasn't it? Yes, we did. Yes, Six we won, games, we wasn't it? Won one game. Mm -hmm. I had 19 men on the field. Not many people back there. <laughs> we had 19 men. They're not awake over there to what goes on in South Australia. Your hairline went down to your eyebrows before you started over there. Yes, yes. <laughs> I started pulling it from behind the swish. <laughs> Lucky it wasn't a gale blowing. Is it true you stood in the middle of the ground with the walk? With the, yeah, uh, that thing because my voice had gone. Actually, I got a whack in the. I did a Gary Dempsey. And then in the, in the, in the, early in my career. Oh, later in my career, I got a whack across the. And I, as soon as I started to yell or talk, you know, the voice would go, so I had to stand there with the megaphone. <laughs>